I don't think it's going to be too long. <laughs> you know, when I knew I had to say some words, um, uh, the first words that came to my mind was, I have finished the race. <laughs> and it's not surprising the day after the New York City Marathon <laughs> and the day before the U.S. elections had <laughs> that thought. But then, of course, you know, I went and made sure I knew the whole context of, of I have finished the race. And it starts with, uh, I have fought the good fight, and I have finished the race. That's Paul to Timothy. Well, neither of those things are goals of the Network for Peace. <laughs> We're not about fighting a fight. We're about learning to talk to one another and uh, trying to, to understand the other, not necessarily agree with the other, but to open your mind to listen to the other. And, uh, and we're not about the competition of the race either. We're not about when there are winners and losers. <laughs> so that whole phrase doesn't fit too well with um, what we have been about. Um, so now we are closing down the organization, a nonprofit organization. And what this means, we don't have to plan programs and implement them, find spaces to operate them, uh, raise funds to, to keep the organization doing, going, to put out the newsletter, to pay staff, and we try to pay staff justly, um, to, um, and uh, best of all, we don't have to send reports to the federal and state government. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, but the best thing about our, our program and our, our work has been that we've been a network, you know, we're the network for peace through dialogue. And as a network, we have worked with many organizations, we've interacted with many organizations, and this we can continue to do. So people say, so what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, you, you heard what we're not going to do. Um, but what we're going to do is, you don't think that we're going to hang up our, sh our shingle and cover it over and not do anything. Do you? Do you? Yeah. <laughs> um, no. You all have contributed. And our religious congregation has contributed greatly to our work, as have other religious congregations. We've gotten <coughs> immense volunteer work and participation from people. Um, and we uh, are very grateful to Marymount School for each year, I'm sure it's been 15 years or so, that we've been here. And they, this, they offer this to us gratis, to use this space, and which is a wonderful <coughs> space to gather people together. So we really appreciate that. Um, Um, I'm very moved by uh, the many people who have said such nice things tonight and the things that have been coming in all day long as well. Um, and I'm going to share with you just one. Uh, we even got uh, Thinking of You from Zimbabwe today. Yeah. We got one from, um, we got one from North Carolina. We got a friend from Boston saying, I'm thinking of you today. So all these people who are who are around are 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 also joined with us here, and I'm just going to share this one appreciation that is a sample. Um, it comes from Ellie, Sister Ellie Keen. She says, "Dear Kathleen and Jenny, my regrets. Sorry, I can't be with you on November seventh to celebrate this transition in your lives. You have my loving prayers." and thoughts as you move ahead. 
May your lives be filled with blessings. Love, Ella. So, I thank each of you for coming and joining in our celebration, and I'll see you soon again. <laughs>